Hey, what's up, Goal Guards? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a private lesson I had with Mason a few weeks ago. Now, Mason's goal for this lesson was to work on keeping his chest square and staying with the puck. As you'll see in these first few clips, Mason allows the puck to get a little bit ahead of him and he's not able to lean into it or to get his blocker onto it um, because he's not actually keeping his chest square. He stops moving his feet, he starts to puck watch, and he allows the puck to get too far ahead and at that point, he just can't get a glove on it. As you can see here, he's just not shifting his feet enough to get in front of that puck and so he's off angle and the shooter has a wide portion of the net to shoot for. Now on these next clips, you'll see Mason start to make the adjustment in his stance and in his movement and get more square to the puck and come up with some saves on these next couple of drills. What I like about this one here is you can actually see the small adjustment he makes if you watch his right skate. He gets square to the puck, the puck hits him square in the chest, a uh, rebound that probably should have been controlled but he does a good job tracking it once it's on the ice and making the follow up save. And just a couple more clips here showing Mason's good adjustment with his chest and getting square to the puck, as well as his patience and not dropping too soon or anticipating before the release of the puck is made. And then of course a great clip here of yours truly going bar down, just to prove that I can. Sorry Mason, you just gotta walk that one off. As we roll through these next few clips, you can uh, take a look for yourself and see which clips you feel like Mason does a decent job moving towards the puck on and getting his chest square versus the ones that he seems to lean away from the puck on and doesn't quite get there. On the saves where he does a pretty decent job getting square to the puck, you can see that he's better set up to make that rebound save. He's also in better position with his hands to gobble one up in the glove or direct it better with the blocker. And you can really see through these clips what a difference making sure that you're square and making the small adjustments in the shuffle, um, what a difference that's going to make to get yourself square to the puck for rebound control and just for proper positioning. Now in this next drill, the focus for Mason was driving across the crease in his butterfly and gathering more strength and getting there a lot quicker. On this goal against, Mason almost gets to the point where he's puck watching. He gives us one nice strong push but kind of puck watches after that and doesn't really finish up strong enough to get his chest square to the puck. I say this all the time to goaltenders that are working on their strength, that it is okay to use two pushes if it takes two pushes to get there. We're not in the NHL yet and those guys can get across the net in one push, but a lot of our younger goalies coming up through high school and through youth hockey, they're not there yet. So it's okay to do two or three pushes as long as it's going to get your chest square. I'd rather that than puck watching with one strong push. Now, of course, rotation and core strength is going to play a big part in these pushes across the crease when you're in the butterfly. You can push as hard as you want with your trailing leg, but if you don't rotate your chest and get it square to the puck, you're just going to fly out at the wrong angle. In this clip, I'm actually telling Mason that in order to get his chest square and to line his chest up to the puck, he's got to really focus on his hand positioning and how his hands are coming across his body. Even though he's pushing to the blocker side, he can't just drag his glove behind him or half of his weight is going to be going in the wrong direction. By activating his elbows and rolling his shoulders forward, he's actually going to be extending that glove across his body, which is going to push his weight in the right direction, make him quicker, and also give him a better angle over the puck. Look at that push right there with proper weight distribution. He's a lot quicker across the net, and look how much more square he is to the camera. This next save is right after him and I had that discussion about his rotation and you can really see he's focusing on rolling his shoulders forward, extending his hands and over exaggerating the rotation for the purposes of the drill and he does a great job. He gets square and his blocker just meets the puck. What a huge difference in quality, speed and reaction after he makes those changes. From the other side now, and you can see Mason is focusing on those same techniques we talked about when pushing to the blocker side. He's trying to over-exaggerate that rotation to bring his stick across his body, and by that way, stay more square to the puck. A couple of good clips here that just show how the proper positioning can really get his hands in front of the puck without him really having to move them too much. From the first clips at the beginning of this butterfly slide drill, you can really see the difference between what Mason was doing then to how he's reacting now. He's no longer puck watching and just hoping it hits him. He's not just giving one push and then hoping that he finishes the slide. He's actually consciously giving two strong pushes, two or three strong pushes, and getting square to the puck each time. 
Finally, I'll end with some clips where Mason has to move from his corner angle to the center of his crease using small shuffle sets to make sure that he stays square to the lateral movement of the shooter. He does a pretty good job throughout this set of drills, staying square to the puck, getting his chest over the puck, uh, and also making sure that he's not anticipating again or dropping down too soon. He's going to be doing the right things off the ice to make sure that he's getting stronger when he moves across the net, and that's going to make a big difference in speed for him as he does have to cut across the crease in either the butterfly or in the stance. Goalies, coaches, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got a little something out of this video. Getting your chest square is the most important part in positional goaltending. And the more that you can focus on that in practice, the more that you can build footwork to make that possible and build strength to make that possible, the better positioning that you're going to be in and the more saves you're going to see yourself making. Until next time, keep your stick on the ice.